Welcome back. Um, in Pandas Data Frames, there are a couple of functions that help us uh, deal with missing data. It's quite an important skill actually to be familiar with how to deal with missing data, to impute it, how to do, maybe shall we remove it, shall we replace it with other values if we do, how do we do that, and what are the values that we should use, and so on and so forth. These are quite important things to be familiar with. And um, in like I mentioned, in Pandas Data Frames, we have a couple of functions that help us do that. Right, so let's create a data frame with some missing data. Uh, we've seen before when we dealt with uh, the data frame uh, that has those random numbers, when we did the filtering that uh, some numbers were, were some uh, values were missing, the NAN, they're not a number um, uh, value that we had before. And let's here, um, let's start here to uh, do that with this data frame that we created last time, the one that has the first name, the last name, and so on and so forth, right? So let's tell it, only give me the values that are less than 240. If I do shift enter now, um, and I display the contents of M, see, it look at the numbers and it'll only show, show me uh, values that are less than 40. So for uh, the um, this row and this row only, right? The other ones, these values here will be nine, as you can see. So it's because it's a number, it didn't touch the string values, okay? Now, this M data frame has missing values, and one thing we can do is if I do M dot drop NA and do shift uh, tab, this function, what it does, it returns an object with labels on given axis omitted where alternatively any or all of the data are missing. What it does is it basically drops the whole axis, the whole row or the whole column where data is 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 missing. And we have some options here that we can um, say the how. The how means that we can either remove uh, all the, the the rows, uh, or we can uh, we can you know say remove any rows that has any missing data or we can say remove any rows that com that's completely missing data so where no values at all are available in any row we'll see what that means in a minute but if i do m dot drop na by default uh, as we saw it's any so drop any row that has any missing value even if, it, if it's one missing value and the axis is zero so it's working on the rows and uh, we can use a threshold to specify the number of values, but it's none now, so I'll remove everything and do it in place or not. No, don't do it in place, meaning create a new data frame. If I do that, um, I'm sorry, no, I just say drop in A because it's a method, it's a function inside. We do that and notice we have an empty data frame, no values because we told it to remove any values. But if I tell it um, how, as we saw, so how equals... Uh, by the way, if I go down, I notice the how can have two options, either any or all. If I say any, that means if any NA values are present, drop that label, it, drop, it completely drop that row. Or if I say all, that means if all values are missing, then drop it, otherwise don't. So I can say how equals, by default it's any, I tell it all. And notice it doesn't drop anything because we don't have any row where all the values are missing, right? Um, of course, by default, it's it works with the rows. We can say axis equals one to uh, deal with the columns. We don't have any column that's oh the column year is completely uh, uh, the whole all the values are missing from column year. So if we run that, yeah, we should be able to lose column year because all the values are missing. And here we said for the how we said all. Okay, so that's drop in a. Uh, we can also use the threshold if you remember the documentation that. The threshold is about how many missing values should there be should should be there uh, for the function to or for the method to drop the values. So here, int values require that many require that many non NA values. Okay. So if I say, for example, um, drop any columns where we have this is completely missing. This has three. So I can say how equals three. I'm sorry, not not how. Um, Threshold, yeah, the key is threshold. Oh, my apologies. 
it's threshold threshold I auto complete so drop if it has three or more uh, missing values and notice we all now lose the column score okay um, so instead of dropping missing values so the data frame is still the same instead of dropping missing values we can fill missing values I can say m dot I'm sorry fill na shift tab it says here it fills na or the nam values using the specified method so I can specify a method I can specify the axis do it in place or not and so on and so on and so forth with the other options you can read the documentation here it's quite easy to understand uh, and we have several ways of doing the, 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 the filling but let's tell it here that fill any missing values with for example uh, one right see now uh, it has filled the nans with ones and notice by the way that M when we dropped the missing values it happened in place because it looks like it's oh in place equals false so why did we lose those values then where did we specify ah yeah yeah M does have uh, by default uh, none I'm sorry I just thought that we actually did in place equals true so because M we got M by filtering the previous data frame right okay that makes sense okay so now we've pla we replaced the missing values with ones um, um, and let's try it in place now so if I look at M it still has a missing value it, it didn't say but if I tell it now replace missing value with ones and then do it in place equals true and now the M will have the missing values replaced by ones okay so that's saved inside the actual data frame that we're dealing with instead of creating a new data frame so easy to use just read the, 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 the doc string and I am sure you'll be able to understand how it works and use it so let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching